Today is September 18th, 2018, and as you can tell by the title, it is time to take my relationship with Abigail from here to here. If you didn't know, Abigail and I have been dating for about two years. We met, lived, and worked at a camp called TVR, so we literally saw each other every single day. We sped up things in our relationship because we learned so much about each other very quickly. I've been thinking of how to set up this proposal because I don't want to do like the typical thing of grabbing a picture, posting it, or having that sniper that's hiding behind the tree. You know, they, they're waiting on that moment, and then when that moment happens, it's like, bang! Except it's like a camera shutter and not an actual gun. I wanted to do something different, so this is why I made the video that you're watching right now. Abigail's favorite song is September by Earth, Wind & Fire. Now, if you don't know that song, or if you need a refresher of how that song goes, I'll give you some time to go listen to it. So, like, go listen to it, like, right now. I'll wait for you. Okay, so the first line of that song is, do you remember the 21st night of September? And it just works out perfectly that this Friday is September 21st, so that's why I'm gonna ask her the question. I don't think she knows, but we'll find out. Abigail always tells me that she never needs anything like super extravagant or super crazy or anything, so I wanna make this seem like a regular date or a regular day, really, even down to like the outfit that I'm wearing, just to normal day you know even when the time came to talk about like marriage and a ring and all that kind of stuff she's not all about that flashy stuff so she doesn't really want anything like crazy in regards to the ring but she only wears like currently she only wears one ring and it made it very difficult to figure out her ring size but thankfully I got her mom to help me out so here's the plan I'm gonna bring her to Lake Wheeler to this area right here for a picnic dinner that's not actually gonna happen and hopefully no one will be there if so then my backup plan is to do it like over here or somewhere else around the park I don't know I made a video for her to watch and while she's watching it I'm gonna set up the camera to do a time-lapse of our picnic because she knows that I love creating time-lapses but I'm not actually gonna be doing a time-lapse I'm just gonna be recording what's happening I'm also going to send the drone up the best part is that I'm gonna use the drone to pop the question as you saw in the thumbnail in case you didn't know, the Mavic Air automatically shuts off when you grab it and flip it upside down. Abigail's done this a couple of times, so I'm going to tell her to grab it out of the air, and hopefully everything goes fine. I'll tape the words, will you marry me, on the bottom along with the ring so that when she flips it upside down, she'll see it. Actually getting like butterflies and stuff, just sitting here talking about it, like a good nervous feeling, you know? I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's, it's like a good feeling, a good nervous. Using the drone is a risky move because I'll be flying it over the water and all that stuff and hopefully nothing bad happens, but you gotta go big or go home, right? After she says yes, at least I hope she does, I'm taking her back to her parents' house where some of her close friends and family will be there for a mini celebration. My close friends and family won't be there because we're in the Raleigh, North Carolina area and that's where she's originally from. I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina, and so that's where all of my people are. And so afterwards, after I ask her the question and all that, I'll probably FaceTime and call you know, some of my friends and family just to get their reaction, even though most of them know that I'm gonna ask the question anyway. So here is the video that I made her watch while I was flying the drone and I had the camera set up and all that kind of stuff. It's not gonna have everything in it just because like to me, this is like a special moment and I'd rather have some of that to ourselves. I hope that makes sense. The back end of this video is gonna have like um, us going to her parents' house and just the celebration there, and hopefully everything goes well. And so here it is, and I hope you enjoy it. I can't believe what I found when I had a little piece of you, a piece of you into. Well, Abigail, this day is a little bit different than our normal outings. I know that we've done like picnic meals and picnic dates before, but this one is different because we're not having a picnic. Luckily, as I was thinking of something different to do, I thought of something that wasn't too extravagant or too crazy. Let's first look back and remember how we got here. You have been mine for almost two years and I've loved every single second of it. Our relationship has challenged us and helped us grow mentally, physically, and spiritually. Underneath the surface level of our relationship is a wonderful foundation that was built with so many good and bad experiences that no one would expect. My love for you will continue to grow as you continue to accept me, my weirdness, all of my creative thoughts, and all of my imperfections. A day that I'll always remember is when I attempted to make something cool for you to tell you that I loved you for the first time, even though I thought I did a terrible job. 
Realizing and learning what love actually is has made our journey together so special. Really, if you think about it, I've made you cry so many times and sometimes I was right there with you crying. But honestly, it has made our relationship stronger and I wouldn't trade it for anything. You have been there for me so many times. Like when we were in Toronto and I broke down in tears just thinking about life in general or when I was too ashamed to ask anybody for help when I had like 17 or $20 left in my bank account. My life has truly been changed because of you and I will always thank God for putting you in my life. Every single moment with you is special. Just how the first letter of the first word in each sentence I've said so far is special. If we put our past behind then we could start a future. If we try then we can do it like no other couple. Give it all to me and I will give it all to you girl. Really no doubt that we will stay together forever after. Thanks for watching this video. Once again, I just wanted to do something that was like different and creative to announce my engagement with Abigail. And I think having this video will provide us with something that we can just look back on the entire process that led up to this moment. I am truly just thankful for all of our friends and family that are supportive and just, I don't know, there's just a lot to be thankful for. I'm excited for the future and I'm gonna end this video with a clip of the place that I was gonna go to and it, I mean, I, at the moment, in the moment, I thought it was gonna like ruin things, but obviously things worked. So this is where I was gonna take her, cause there's like a little spot over there. But Hurricane Florence came in last week or something like that, and it's it's a uh, can't really get there. So change of plans.